This morning we're continuing on in our 12 Stones series, and uh, if you've missed any of them, I encourage you to, uh, uh, one of two things that you, well, one of three things that you can do. You can ask Furman for a DVD copy of the video or a CD copy of the audio, that's one. Or you can go to our church website, that's SpartanburgNAS.org, and you can go down to the bottom and see where it says Message Gallery, and you can listen to each of the audio versions from our website, but there's also a link to our YouTube page where all of the videos are uploaded. So you can watch it on the videos, you can watch it from a DVD, uh, you can listen to it from the audio CD, or you can listen to it online. We encourage you to do that. This has been a, a series for us that is a series of encouragement and some challenge as well, but I encourage you to be a part of what's been going on. And if you haven't gotten to all of them yet, I encourage you to do that. Um, the Lord laid this on my heart quite some time ago, and we were going to start it at Easter, and that didn't turn out to be the right time to start, so we began in Memorial Day, uh, which worked just fine, and it leads us to the last service, to the last sermon of the Twelve Stone series, which happens on VBS Sunday. And just to let you know, VBS Sunday is coming up in a few weeks, and we're doing VBS a little differently this year. We're doing Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday morning. Now, Sunday morning is Vacation Bible School with all of us for our children, but for us as well. So it'll be very different. It won't be like a won't be exactly like a VBS program that you've seen before because that's not exactly what it is. It's actually our third session of VBS. So uh, I encourage you to be a part of that. Um, and get ready now because uh, I know exactly which sermon I'm supposed to preach and I thought maybe God had made a mistake yes there are times when you when you wonder are you sure God because this is when we'll probably have the most visitors but it's the message that he has for me and he's shown me uh, the direction he wants me to take with it. So I encourage you to be a part of that. Um, I don't just stand up here and speak because I like to hear my voice because I, I never was the type of person that likes to hear my voice. I have to uh, listen to the video when I download it during the week and I'm not all that impressed. I apologize to you. Glad that you can stand it. Um, but I, I do this because I believe that it's what God has for us. He has a special a special thing for each of us to glean from His Word uh, through our Sunday school classes, through our uh, Wednesday night studies, through other discipleship classes that we do, through our morning worship. I believe that God wants to teach us and train us and strengthen us for the day in which we live. And the day in which we live, even in our own community, is a day in which the enemy is hard at work, even in the church. So the title of this morning's message is not even super glue, and I have a two-minute video clip that I want to share with you this morning, and uh, hopefully that video clip will help you out. But here's where we've been so far. The first stone was, remember what God has already done. Second one was the orange coral. Remember who it is that calls you. The black one was the next one with David. Remember whose you are and who fights for you. The uh, fluorite, the green and purple, there. Remember Jesus is the cornerstone and the stumbling stone, according to whether you're a believer or a rejecter. And that's up to us. The turquoise, remember, God can raise stones to be his children, so it's not about tradition, it's not about sitting in a pew, it is about following God and being obedient to him. And then the smoky topaz, remember, Satan's lies are transparent, and if you will be praying and you will be uh, asking the Lord to lead you, he will show you the enemy's plans. Yes. And you'll be able to avoid that. And then remember your Heavenly Father's character. We talked about that last week. Remember the character of your Heavenly Father, and that makes all the difference in the world. This morning, 
There's a green quartz stone on the bookmark if you didn't get one. I don't think I have any left, but I would be willing to give you mine. And this morning, the stone, it's not the only stone in our passage, but the stone that we're focusing on is not one stone. And you'll understand that a little bit more as we move through. Listen up for a moment on this video clip. Ed, you may have to up the volume if it's not loud enough. May I apologize to you in advance? There is a curse word in this, and I had no way of dropping it out. Now, the curse word is the one that we use in the Bible, which says hell. He's using it in a different context, however. Um, but I apologize. I could not find a way to get rid of just that uh, without chopping the whole thing to pieces. So you probably will recognize the clip. It is a science fiction movie. You'll see lots of monuments here in Los Angeles. That's the monument there in Los Angeles. Recognizable building. That's New York City, the Empire State Building. And that happens to be the White House. this morning, keep that picture in mind. Matthew chapter 23. Turn with me if you would. Matthew chapter 23. Matthew chapter 23. We're going to read the very end of that passage and then we're going to jump into Matthew chapter 24. If you stand with me please in respect and honor to God's word. Matthew chapter 23 beginning at verse 37. The last few verses of chapter 23, and then we'll jump into the very beginning of 24. Jesus' words here. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets, and stonest them which are sent unto thee, how often would I have gathered thy children together, even as a hen gathereth her chickens under her wings, and ye would not Behold, your house is left unto you desolate. For I say unto you, ye shall not see me henceforth, till ye shall say, 
Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. And Jesus went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came to him for to show him the buildings of the temple. And Jesus said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, There shall not be here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Lord Jesus, I pray that you would guide and direct this morning, that you would speak your words through these lips, that you would sanctify our ears, that we would hear what we need to hear from you. Speak to the depths of our hearts. Speak into our minds that are so calloused sometimes to what you have to say. Speak into the depths of who we are, into our circumstance and situation right now, today. We ask it through the holy name of Jesus Christ by faith believing you will do all that you have said. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Now there are a whole lot of additional scriptures you can look at. I only read just a portion of that. Jesus goes on to speak about the end times and what will be the sign that the end is beginning, that it's coming.